I checked in the comments of people who are asking um, where Ivan was and where's the new barber and all these different stuff. Like, it's interesting the way that we, we operate here, people work differently on different days. So I work from Tuesday to Friday and Sunday. And since I don't work on Saturday, Kev comes in on Saturday. No, 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 no. Uh, Crystal comes in on Saturday. Crystal's a girl, you guys have seen her once. So Kevin comes in on Mondays and Tuesdays, so he's coming in today. Um, and there's three Kevin. And I figured while I got some downtime, I can show you guys like what each thing I use is for as I pack out. I can explain it before my first comes in. So this is my profile shaver. Um, I use this to get the stubble out, um, the duster. You guys have seen the um, necessary tools. All of this is in there, but you know, this is my personal stuff that I use. I get the, the hairs off. I put like a talc powder or Pinod Clubman on it and that gets all the hairs off. Here's my roller brush. I use this to blow dry hair. I really like this. I use these guards. Premium guards at school, somebody stole my five, so I have my five from a color guard. So that's my wall premium guards. My retro T cut, I still need to get my um, my bevels checked in. Babyliss Pro FX811, one of my favorite clippers. Never have a problem with it, like with power. Um, I just rake through hair and it's really easy. The guards I use, these red guards. Um, first, I, I had the black guards, those don't have halves, like half and one and a half. When I went to IBS, State Gold showed me these guards, definitely made things a lot easier. And I have these, my detachable blades for my BGRC. This is my uh, 5 I I have a 5 uh 3 out OA, my 1, 1A, and my 1 half. Yo, what's good? Back to Georgia, back to Atlanta. Funny how present turns past. As I was saying yesterday, before I had to go home, cause I uh, got a little lightheaded. Um, I think it was on my clippers before. These are my magic clips. Today I just changed the blades. Actually, these are uh, the fade blade, the taper blade. So like for really, really bald fades, really close, I use these to fade out the lines. And like when I'm just fading out regular fades, I use a thicker blade because it's, you know, easier and it has this taper part where it allows for fades to happen easier than here. This is a lot more, you know what I'm saying? Kev's out of here, uh, zero gap in his joints. Just taking out these little blades, these little screws. On the slim line, bro, I lie. Yes, sir. Needs, needs to be hidden. He's gotta be hidden soon. Gotta clean it out. This, this, this is a home in speed. that um whole time I've been working here I haven't asked Kev like what his like what he uses his stuff for so we about to just go over there one time. Yo Kev so today's video I'm gonna be uh talking about like why I use certain things so I wanna like ask you what you use and why you use it. Oh like my tools? Yeah. Okay perfect. Alright so first off we start off with the Andes. I think these are the ZR. Hold on it's a little I like these because they're detachable. It takes away bulk really, really fast. I have the, the one guard, uh, the one blade, ceramic blade. Ceramic is usually slightly like, better. These blades don't get as hot as the regular blades, so ceramic is the way to go, I think. I have the one, I have the two, I have my uh, uh, five zeros, which is skin. And I have my double zero, uh, triple zero right here. All ceramic blades. All right, so these are my go-tos. Now I have the uh, Andy Slimline Pro. Yeah, with the grip right here. Grip doesn't really make much of a difference, but I like it for aesthetic purposes. Fade brushes here. Got my uh, Slim AI, AI, the new blade. Yeah, y'all seen that one. Yeah, man. You no, know, just a regular dusting. My go-tos. 
wall magic clips love them my seniors for more of a stronger uh, for coarser hair or not my retro tea cuts I don't really use these but uh I want to get to use them more often since you got them Andes joints, you're probably not going. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just purchased the Andes uh, Outliner Cordless. It should be coming in Friday. I'm excited about those. I heard a lot of good stuff about those, but I don't think I'm going to use these. I might sell these, actually, or give them away. Who knows? And then, uh, yeah, man, then we got the combs, bro. I would say get, get a good pair of combs, man. Got my YS Park combs. I love these. YS Park is... I, I love them, man. I love the YS Parks. These are another one, just a clear one for a darker hair. You can see it more. Take me back to Georgia, back to Atlanta. Funny how present turns past. Yo, Loki. You need a microwave in this joint. You eating that joint cold? I'm sick. I gotta eat it cold, bro. Got my chicken. Big, all those collard greens. Yo, low key, man. Yeah, we really need to get that joint. That's why I don't be really bringing food in here sometimes. Cause like, you know, that joint look good though. Yo, it's pop. <laughs> that joint look good though. Yo, this is some soul food, man. Little collard greens, little chicken right here with the, with the skin. Little True. peas, you dig? We out right? here. <laughs> we out here, bro. You know, like when people look at him when he's eating. Exactly, man. I mean, you know, some people are vegan, but I love chicken, man. <laughs> I love chicken. I can't help it, man. Yo, some people are vegan, but because yeah, bro, people are vegan out here, bro, and I feel like I'm part of the wave, man. But I, <laughs> but I love this, bro. Oh, oh, because we don't eat meat. Yeah, you know exactly, but you know, I love chicken, though. I've been eating chicken all day, bro. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm vegan. I mean, I just don't eat meat or animal products. It's, just, it's the same thing. But <laughs> <laughs> veggies, veggies are good though. It's only because the illness I got. I got to make sure that I'm not eating that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, we can always watch Kev eat. You know? Why not? <laughs> Come eat with me. But yeah, um, what time is it? 5:22 right now. I need to just wrap up this edit because I hadn't been posting in some time. So, um, hmm. Thought I'd leave you guys with a thought though. I somehow have just been thinking about like, do what you want to do, bro. Do what you want to do. Like, uh, at the end of the day, right? Like, your life is yours and you don't gotta convince anybody else that you're successful. All you gotta do is think of what you wanna do with your life. Think of how you wanna live, the time you wanna spend with your family. Like, how do you want your days to look like? If you're living your life the way you wanna live it, then doesn't matter how much money's in your bank account. Doesn't matter who thinks your job is what's up or not. Like, if you think your job is what's up, that's what's up. You know what I mean? So, just a little quick thought. Uh, there's definitely a lot to that, but I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys for watching these videos. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Any other thoughts, definitely link in the description below. This video came up simply because of a question I got in the comment section. I'm really trying to relate with you guys, so see you guys in the next one.